Hey everyone, so today we're gonna actually attain the global minimum variance portfolio. So before we do that, let's take a look at the sufficient frontier that we've built so far. Another way we can describe this is we can describe this as the minimum variance frontier. What do I mean by that? Well, essentially what we're looking at here is for a given return, for any risk averse investor, we wanna minimize risk. For example, let's look at this 10% return. For this given return, we would not want, no risk averse investor would invest in any of these portfolios to the right of this, of this frontier. The reason why is because we could get the same return for less risk. And the same goes for any other return, expected return. Let's, let's look at this 8% return, expected return here. No risk averse investor would invest in any of these portfolios of risky assets to the right of this frontier. We would choose the minimum variance portfolio given this return. So again, no, no risk inverse investor would choose to invest in any portfolio to the right of the minimum variance frontier, which is this. Because for the same return, we can get the same return for lower risk. That's a major point I want to get through. Now let's see if we can figure out what's the global minimum variance portfolio. And that's just the leftmost point on, amongst this frontier. So this point right around here. And essentially, an investor would not or cannot hold a portfolio consisting of risky assets that have less risk than the global minimum, minimum variance portfolio. And that means you can't invest in any risky assets here that they don't exist. But remember, I want to emphasize that's risky assets. So later we're going to look at a risk, introducing a risk-free asset, and then we can relax this point. But the main point is no investor would invest in any of these portfolios. And we want to find the global minimum variance portfolio, which is right here. So how can we do that in Python? So it's quite easy. All we need to do here is we are going to take our portfolios. So like here, like so. And we can say portfolios. And we'll look at the volatility. Volatility column. And remember, we have this, we have this portfolios data frame like so. So we're going to look at this volatility column and we're going to find the minimum volatility. So to do that, say portfolios, we want to look at the volatility column, and that's going to be equal to portfolios volatility. And we're just going to use the dot min function. So we'll run that. And there we go. There's our minimum variance portfolio, global minimum variance portfolio. And you'll notice these are the weightings of the different asset classes that would help us attain that um, minimum variance portfolio. Volatility of 0.139 and uh, expected return of 6.7%. So that's our global minimum variance portfolio. In our next video, we're going to look at the optimal risky portfolio. And so until next time, thanks.